there is um, a lot of misconception in a startup community about what the startup financial model um, represents and how accurate, right? How accurate it can be. And I constantly, when I talk to entrepreneurs, I constantly encounter a lot of pushback because they tell me, well, if I don't have a product on the market, then how do I know if my numbers are correct? And I think that there is not enough said about what a financial model is, okay? And a financial model is not a crystal ball that will magically tell you how much money you're going to make at what period of time. Instead, you can think of a financial model is a, as a map, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. My name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station, uh, a comprehensive resource for modeling and valuing early stage ventures. When you uh, go in a forest and you're deciding which path to take, you of course would prefer to have a map so that you know how to get to your destination. And a good map accurately reflects the terrain, right? It reflects all the turns and twists, the lakes, the swamp, etc. So think about a financial model as a map of your business plan that tells you what you're supposed to achieve at each milestone, right? And so if you get to a point where you're supposed to turn left and instead of you're turning right, if you turn your right for multiple months, maybe that's the time to step back and think, well, maybe my path towards turning left isn't quite correct. I need to change my map to get there because I'm not getting to the desired result, right? So when you start thinking about a financial model as a blueprint of what you're trying to do instead of of a predictive tool, suddenly it becomes an extremely useful analytical tool that can help you evaluate the financial feasibility of your decisions. And they can help you evaluate the effectiveness of your strategy. So I heard from a lot of investors that they look for founders that not only are visionaries, right? but also the ones who can swiftly respond to market feedback. And it's that ability to adjust and find a new strategy that is going to um, set apart ventures that succeed from those that fail. And guess what? A financial model is a tool that can help you do that. Because like I said, if a map is showing you, you're going the wrong way, you're going to change direction sooner rather than later. So to learn more how to create a good map or a good financial model for uh, software and service startups, take our course number two and check out more info on the Startup Station's website.